this one, July 3rd, and the reason why we look insane is because we've been recording a memorial for my sister for two weeks. So it was like the hardest thing we've ever done. We can say it's all father and my best friend, who I haven't seen in 13 years. She's been here for two weeks. This was April and I, back in the day. And somebody in my family lied to her and told her a bunch of stuff. And then my sister died. She's seen it on Facebook. Then she booked a ticket for three weeks. Um, this is my sister. Hope it shows. Oh, it's kind of harsh. Okay, there we go. There she is. In flight day. Like this. That's my sister and her family. It's the light in the lamp. Okay. One more. The baby. My sister. The family. And my sister and her family, which is showing up too good. Here is the light. That one, eh? Then it'll be pitch black and our video won't work. No, so it's still not working because it's too black. Anyway. That's my sister. She died. How many years ago? Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Um, the reason why I made a memorial is because it was my sister's wishes to not have one. But my sister was wrong sometimes, and the memorial is not for the dead. It's for the people that are still alive. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm grieving, I'm hurt. We tried to post this memorial how many days ago? Oh god, no, this one, um, Sunday. Didn't quite come out right the first time, there was no sound. <coughs> I'm gonna be 50, so I'm not real good with downloading and stuff. As you can see, I don't look great, so this isn't for attention. No, our hair and makeup is not done. No, your hair is done because we flattered it like three days ago. Yeah. <laughs> and we're still doing it. Um, my sister and I didn't talk for 13 years. Because of my family. Because of me. And my family. I don't talk to my parents anymore. Because my life's just better without him. I haven't seen my brother Carl in 26 years or more. I haven't seen Jay in about 10 or 13 years. And those are the only two left. The rest of them died. Except for me. I should have died though. And, um,. I know a lot of you aren't going to feel real comfortable with this, but it's for, it's my vision that because I grieved for 21 years or more about my son and my little sister and my brother, who's real special to me, um, um, yeah, I didn't do it right. I didn't cry right, I didn't get angry right, I didn't do anything right. I just stopped all my feelings. And so this time, I'm getting older. And so I want to do it right. So I seen a ring of candles. Well, let me go back. Her kids haven't really contacted me. So I waited. And then my parents said they were going to Phoenix, they never did. So I was trying to lay back so my family could go, my mom and dad, because that was their daughter, and they never went. And I was trying to find her body because I don't want to kill myself tomorrow with this stuff. 
I want to live, be happy, I have a family, I have a husband. I got my best friend back too. I think my sister did that. And, um, me and April have been through hell for the last two weeks. Trying to do this right. Because we're alive. We're still alive, but, man, I love my sister. She was so cool. She was in pain. She wasn't perfect. But I respected her. But towards the end there, when we weren't talking, I couldn't do it no more. So, this memorial is not to hurt nobody's feelings, man. It's because I want to live. I want some happy years. I've been in therapy for over 20 years. They say I'm sensitive, crazy, I'm a monster, it killed my kids. What else did they say? Everything. Everything imaginable tear a person down. But I'm not like that. Not no more. I'm not like them. I'm a different person. So this vision I had was that there was a ring of life and me and April were sitting in the middle and we just felt our feelings. That's it. We ain't trying to hurt nobody. We ain't. Everybody was tripping hard because you were going to make a big deal about it, or some stink, or some... But grieving is normal, man. It's a part of life. The Native Americans go on a teepee for 90 days. It was like as soon as like we were at the, what, fourth week? They just stopped talking about it. It wasn't even that big of a deal no more. My family moved on. I don't even know what's going on with their kids. I promised my sister I'd take care of them. There's no way. Can't do it. They won't let me. Sean really is the only one who's let me, kind of. I thought baby Lisa would call me, man. She, she, she don't want to call me. It's cool. It's kind of weird, though, honey. Yeah. Because yeah. we're the same. I mean, we're better. I mean, we're better than we were 20 years ago. We're more cool. Yeah. Like, we're more chill. The more peaceful our lives are good. Yeah. We're married with family. Kids. I got two great kids now. I do. I do too. Yeah. So we're putting this on Facebook because, like, Facebook people are crazy. They're so supportive. And they love, they love. Like this process I've been going through, and they've had mad respect and support and love and understanding, and they pray. And I do have a God. Um, it's just kind of weird because, like, today my brother flew in. Um, I don't know nothing about that. I just, I just know I gotta do what's right for me. You know what I mean? Like, live my life. Like when I need to, you know, be sad to some extent, like, my sister for nine straight months, and I'm not talking about calling me every couple of days, she called me every day, day in, day out, all day, I got 5,000 Facebook messages, and we caught up, you know, we forgave each other, we said we were sorry, we Sometimes we didn't agree. Well, my sister, like she, I love what she said. We can agree to disagree. But when it came to our childhood, we forgave. We laughed, we cried, we stayed up all night, we cried about our families, our lives, what we missed, what we should have done, could have done. My sister wasn't in a good place, I'm going to tell you that. That's hard to see, it's hard to listen to. You think your older sister's gonna be like doing great, you know? She wasn't. She was in a bad place. And then she died. And I got a picture of a body bag and a text saying, Tell Aunt Cindy that her sister died. And then how many weeks later, April? 
Somewhere at 78 days. It was somewhere about, well, when I found her body, because I thought I wanted to go see her. I, I, I had to see her. I hadn't seen her. I just wanted to see her. I know it was gross, kind of, but to me, like, I'd never seen my dead son. They made a big deal about my little sister, my brother Jim. I'd never seen him again. So I, I just wanted to go there and do something, like, different. So I didn't have to cry all my life, you know what I mean? Like I've been doing. And then I found her body and got the police report because I needed to get out of school. So I needed the police report to help that my sister died because they didn't do an obituary. I mean, it's been an ongoing saga. But, like, the truth is, my sister's a good person. She even would get her cans and save them for the trash lady. Like, she's a cool person, man. All you guys on Facebook know that. She's cool. We got into a squabble about nothing. It was small. It was nothing. But she kept calling my phone. My home phone. And the videos have everything in it, you know? But me and April are going to do this for the next three days. So we can look back and say we did right, right? Right? That's going to piss a lot of people off. Right? Right? We've been doing that all our lives, too. Oh, well. Wow. Get over it. Get over yourself. What do you think? I think this is for Lisa. This is the least that she can. She deserved that. Yeah. She mattered. And she counted. Yeah. She was here. Yeah. And she had friends. Yeah. Who wanted to pay respects to her. Yeah. And this is the only way we could do that. I don't. You guys just need to stop hating, man. It don't matter. You think I don't love her, miss her, all that shit. You're dumb. You're just dumb. You ain't got no sense. You understand? She's the last girl. To, and then you count me, I mean, there ain't nothing left, huh? Just me, my family, your family. Our Facebook family, Jesus. <laughs> You've been going through this with me for a while. I appreciate it. So we did part one, part two, and part three. This is a real personal thing kind of embarrassing too, but I get it because I need it to. If you don't get it, just don't watch it. So, we're posting some stuff. We hope you guys respect it. I'm not the only person hurting on the planet. I'm not the only one to see a dead person. I'm not the only one. I'm not saying that. It ain't selfish. It's selfish to let yourself breathe. Be sad. Be happy. Remember them. Not remember them. Be mad at the world. Be this, that, everything. Her kids got a lifetime of that. But I'm an old lady. And I got to do right by me. It hurts you, Lisa. It hurts you, Sean. I'm sorry. You don't want to feel right now that's cool. You don't never got to call me. I let my family go a long time ago. So I'll never let my sister go. She's been here. And here. She loved me. She said, tell her dying breath, and I trust her, and I believe her. Because I'm trying to use no guilt. I ain't got no guilt. I took care of that. I took care of that. I took care of her. So... This is me and April signing off till tomorrow. Then she posts our memorial. Love you, sir. It's important too that uh, we know that we forgot her ashes were picked up today. Forgot that. And uh, we know that you're having a hard time, baby Lisa. We know you're having a hard time, Connor. The one thing you never need to forget is she loved you.
Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, she did. They see her sing to him at night. She'd be on the phone with me. Out of all those years we were alive, I got nine months. There's a lot of stuff here. I mean, keep talking about it. The only way to get something out of the dark is to shed light on it. If you're spiritual, you get that. You have Jesus, Buddha, whoever. You get that. There's shame in the dark. We don't look great right now, do we? You see us all hot mamas with eyelashes and makeup and smell bad. Hell no. This is the way my sister used to be. Because this is how we roll. <laughs> and this is how we roll and will always roll. Piss people off bad. Don't creepy haters. Haters. Hateration, man. I've had nothing but hate for 70 plus days. I ain't gonna pretend for you or anybody else. It is what it is, man. I ain't gonna remember my sister on her birthday. I ain't gonna remember my sister, like, I'm gonna remember my sister every day. She deserves that. I love my sister. The more I love her, the more I cry, honey. Because I missed out. We missed out. We messed up, man. I made a lot of mistakes, but it's true. A lot of that lady, so. She was a lady. There you go. She was a lady. A mom, grandma, sister, daughter, friend. If you think after all these years of this high hate and that's gone on this family, do you think that this is done because you're special and I'm doing this to make myself look good? That's a big F you. Because it ain't true because you don't know me because you don't know my heart. You ain't never known me. That's the problem. That's what I loved about my sister. I can just tell her, hey, I go, this is why I did this. And she was like, Ruth? And that was it. And it was over. It was close. It wasn't like this big old hating fest that's gone on. So anyway, the hating's done. I'm going to stand up for her. I believe in her and I love her. It ain't easy right now. April's leaving in a week. Timmy's coming in. My daughter's out there. My son's out there. The kids are sitting and seeing it. Hurting. I'm powerless. I'm clean and sober. But my best friend. That's what my sister gave me. Isn't that trippy? Yeah, she was cool. My sister did a lot of cool things. She don't know it, but she did a lot of cool things. Sorry, I picked up the phone that night, too. Many nights. She's stubborn, she's cold, she whatever. Tired, tired. I love you. I always love you, Lisa. That's your name, Lisa. Who grew up calling you? Who grew up saying to each other, Lisa? I'll get you tattooed on my arm. It's like my sister, my brother, my baby. Quiet night, isn't it? Very. Tomorrow's done. I'll post it. I hope you guys watch it. That's all I got. For her. What can you do, right? Love each other. That's it. Love each other. I love you, eh? I love you, too. Thank you for coming to Colorado. Not thank you. Thank you for the good time. And for the tears. And for everything else that's about to come. <laughs> it's going to go down in Chinatown. Jesus, guys. See you tomorrow.